There was a report that came out stating that people that drink diet soda every day is three times more likely to get dementia and also have a stroke. Let's go ahead and roll the clip. Published in the journal Stroke, a new study out of Boston University found that people who drank diet soda daily were three times more likely to have a stroke or dementia than those who drank it weekly or less often. In a single Massachusetts town, researchers collected data from 2,888 adults over 45 and another 1,484 adults over the age of 60. They looked at the relationship between diet soda consumption and the health problems they had. They found higher rates of stroke and dementia among those who had consumed more artificially sweetened drinks. Researchers cautioned that their work showed a correlation. It didn't, however, explicitly show that diet soda causes strokes or dementia. Now, as the clip said, you're more likely to have it, but it's not guaranteed. But this is the thing. I definitely care about your health. I definitely want us to live a long time and not be sick because we can prevent a lot of the things that's happening to us. And something that I don't practice is drinking diet soda because, number one, it has aspartame in it or it may have other artificial sweeteners. Usually you have preservatives put in that stuff. They use acid, which the acid erodes your teeth. This stuff can cause cavities. They use artificial colors. All these things are bad for your body, whether it's a regular um, can of soft drink or a diet one, you should not be drinking it. Now, many people, when I make these videos, I get comments stating, well, man, what is it we supposed to eat? Or what is we supposed to drink? Trust me, I understand your frustration. I have a soy allergy. I went with my family the other day to a restaurant and they make these homemade uh, rolls and I could not have them because it has soy in it. So I was highly frustrated and I could not eat that. So I get the frustration you can experience when you can't eat something that's bad for you or drink something that's bad for you. But you can replace that with, you can make a homemade lemonade. You can get some uh, lemons or limes, uh, fresh squeeze them in water. You wanna sweeten it with a little uh, organic sugar or you can get uh, coconut sugar, that's organic. You can get turbinado sugar. All these sugars are brown, matter of fact. Remember I told you before, brown is good, white is bad when it comes to food, period. Anything white is bleached and refined when it comes to your foods. So you can sweeten it with that. Not saying make it like some uh, snow cone syrup or like Kool-Aid, don't be doing all that. And you shouldn't be drinking Kool-Aid either because a bunch of food dies and a bunch of chemicals that's involved with Kool-Aid. You can also get some fresh squeezed orange juice you can make yourself. You could drink filtered water, get you a good filter. There's many good filters on the market. Find out the best one for you and what's good with your situation, whether it's a filter you just put on your faucet or the filter that you put underneath your, your kitchen sink or the one that actually comes into your home, and if you can actually get it professionally installed, the filter where they, uh, all your water is filtered when you come in, it actually raises the property value of your home, so when you sell it, you make more money, So, which most homeowners wanna do that, especially when they wanna sell. So it'd be good for your health for the filter, and also it raises your property value. You can drink so many things. There are organic juices that you could drink, like they got organic apple juice you can buy at the store. And remember we talked about getting the store brand of drinks or store brand of anything organic because you're going to save more money and a lot of times they have coupons with that so there's a lot of things that you can drink um, outside of drinking those diet sodas and also the regular sodas as well at the end of the day it's your choice it's your life it's your body i'm not telling you what to do i'm telling those who care enough to make those changes to want to live a long time for their children uh, for the sales and also if anything if you're not going to do it at least implement these things that we're talking about to your children let them have a good chance at a healthy life because as parents we are the ones to institute either good health for our children or bad health and when you don't know any better you know you do things in ignorance and that's including myself for a long time you know we fed our kids things that we shouldn't have been feeding them or soda and all the other stuff we just didn't know any better but when you know better you do better and you must take responsibility for what you know once again we're trying to 
expose the food industry and wants you to be healthy. Because if you're not healthy, then what's the point of living a long life sick, uh, can't remember anything with d dementia? I mean, it's sad to watch a person can't remember their own children or remember their own name. It's a sad thing to see that. And if we can do everything we can to prevent these things, then we should do that. If you enjoyed the news and information received on this platform, consider supporting us on Patreon for a minimum of $5 per month. The mainstream media wants to shut independent voices down like ours, and we need to help to keep the platform going. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the diet sodas. Are you going to make the change? Or are you going to just keep drinking them? Share the video, like the video, share the commentary, and subscribe for more news stories.